American pastor claims Jesus will return faster if people donate more. In one of the episodes of a four-day victory thon, an annual fundraising event, Pastor Jesse Duplantis claimed that Jesus had not returned yet because people were not donating enough. Quote, Jesus hasn't become, uh, come because people are not giving the way God told them to give, he said. In the same segment, Duplantis also emphasized his status as a multimillionaire and owner of a jet, adding, quote, they say, do you own a jet? Yes, you can have it the day after the rapture. <laughs> the right-wing evangelical pastor is not a stranger to controversy. Uh, the 72-year-old preacher from New Orleans has been known to dupe his followers into financing his lavish lifestyle. In 2018, he made national headlines for asking his followers to donate to his uh, $54 million private jet that will let him, quote, get this gospel preached to the world. Oh, we don't have audio. Should I, should I play it? Yeah. I think I should play it, yeah. Seeing, he starts, by the way, I, I heard the first part. He actually said, I honestly believe this. You can tell somebody's gonna say something crazy. You can tell somebody's <laughs> about to drop some insane crap when they say, I honestly believe this. But okay, let's hear him out. That's very true. We don't have audio. Well, it's not because it's because of Twitter here. Do you sh share the tab the right way? Yes, I did. It was here. Okay. Hold okay. On. One second. Three, two. I honestly believe this. That the reason why Jesus hadn't come is because people are not giving the way God told them to give. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Wow. I mean, when you understand it, you can speed up the time. I was on television. He said, I heard you was a millionaire. I said, that's not right. That's not true. He said, yes, it I said, no, it's not. Multi. Now, add that to it. You'll be all right. <laughs> oh, he couldn't handle that. He liked to have had a fit. And I said, you mess with me, I'll buy this station and I'll fire you. Yeah. Oh, he didn't like that, did he? Didn't. Uh, you know, that was a little fleshy, but it felt good. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Just did. You know what I'm not saying? <laughs> so I realized that I will not move people emotionally yeah. to give. Right. No. I'm going to have people move according to the word of God. What is God saying to you? And I really believe this. If people would call this number and put this victory all over the world on every available voice, every available outlet, God, the father, he would say, Jesus, go get him. Yeah. Because you see, he wants to see us as much as we want to see him. You see what I'm saying? And so what has hindered all these things is, uh, uh, is because people are not doing in the financial realm because we live in an economic world, what God's called them to do. You know, he's called us to do that. So I don't have a problem with giving. I don't have a problem receiving. It didn't make any difference. Because I just made up my mind. I want Jesus to come. Uh, they said, do you own a jet? Yes. You can have it the day after the rapture. It's yours. Because Jesse, Jesse is oh. going to heaven. All right. Help me out here. What is What seems to be the argument here? I really don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. Like... Biblically, he didn't provide any corrobor corroboration. He was just like, you're not giving the way God wants you to give. And we have to give. And this is an economic world. So that means you have to, you know, give of your finances. And uh, if 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 we gave enough, <laughs> this is my favorite. Jesus would say to God, go get them. Or no, no God would God. say to Jesus, go get them. <laughs> You know, go get him, Jesus. Go get, go <laughs> rapture those souls. Go get him. Okay, but how would that, like, I'm trying to put my Christian mindset on, okay? Why would Jesus be like, okay, people are giving money to this guy, and that's why we should, I should go, like, how, like, how, like, this is not even Christianity. Like, can, can somebody, like, this, by the way, guys. You have to understand, these arguments are working on people. That's why this guy is a multimillionaire, right? So you can't just be like, oh, well, that's dumb. Nobody's going to buy that. It's whatever they're doing, it's working. These people have, these people, these people are multimillionaires, right? So I'm just trying to say, like, who is being convinced by this? Like, who's the average Christian who listens to this kind of marketing and is like, oh, that makes a lot of sense. If I give more money to this guy, 
Jesus will come. Can you, can you, can you please try? Just because I try to like put my mind into other people's, like try to see it from their perspective, and I'm failing right now. Like, what are they? What is it that they, what is convincing them? Well, Arena is saying, "Get on your knees, and he will come." <laughs> I mean, if that is his point, then yeah, maybe that makes sense. That makes a lot um, more sense. I mean, you, you're thinking about it through your um, rigorous understanding of Christianity, but you're not thinking about it by putting on your hat of prosperity gospel, Armin. Okay, well, explain so it. What the hell in is, yeah. video, for example, did you notice who he happened to be standing next to? No. He was standing next to Kenneth Copeland. Do you remember who that is? Oh, wait, was that the guy that sold the silver stuff? No. I think he might have also done that. You're thinking of, I think his name is Jeff Baker. Um, uh, I don't know this name. Kenneth Copeland is the guy who, I mean, he's had multiple instances of craziness. Like he said, he doesn't. Oh, this he, guy, right there. yes. Yeah, that guy. This guy that wants, he, he didn't want to go to the airport because of demons. He needs his own private jets because he needs to be around demons. Because he's spiritually saving people. Yes, yes. Oh, this is a guy. This is the guy that has like, uh, he wanted to. I can't even say it on YouTube. He wanted to blow wanted to, away the the, blow the, beer away bug. The, the the beer bug. Yes, yes, yes. That guy. Yes, yes. yes. This guy is scary. Like, yeah, With the exactly. The power like of that. Jesus. <gasps> yes. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> and he was like all up close on the camera, like. You like, know, I don't want to. And... <laughs> You know, if I was the type, like he looks like he's demon possessed himself. Like, I've, honestly, Straight like, up. anyways, but yeah, continue, go ahead. What were you going to say? Well, about? Okay. So, like, that just gives people more context into the, like, the level and vein of evangelicism we're, we're talking about here. Okay. So, actually, he might also be standing next to Jeff Baker. Uh, no, that doesn't quite look like him. Um, okay. I think I get it. Are you going? I think I get what's happening here. They're right con men. I know, but are they really? Because what is the con? Like, I'm trying to say, what are people paying for? Like, I'm, and I think I have the answer because I'm trying to figure out, like, when people send their money to them, are they like thinking, oh, yeah, this guy says, like, if I send money to him, Jesus is going to come back soon. And that makes sense. So that's why I'm sending my money. Or is it something else they're thinking? Because, I mean, where does the money have to go for Jesus to be happy about it? Because this guy has a lot of money. Like, why well, can't he Why can't he give the money for whatever is needed to for Jesus to come back? But what he's saying is not to give your money for something else. He's like, he's not even hiding the fact that the money is going to him for his lavish lifestyle, right? So this is, what, this is what's so interesting about this thing. They're actually transparently telling their followers to make us richer. They're not they're not lying to their followers. They're like, look at look how rich we are. That's where your money is going. And send more. And the followers are like, yes, okay. Right? This is not a this is not a con. This is actually very transparent. They're flashing it in front of their followers. Like, look what your money is buying. Look at our cars. Look at our private jet. Look how much money. I'm a multimillionaire. There is really not much of a con is happening here, okay? So go on, you wanted to say, I have a theory. I want to tell you what it is. Well, it's, it's going to them by way of this is going towards their drive, which will go into spreading the gospel around the world. So that's kind of the pitch in like the pitch towards Jesus is that, you know, this is to spread his message as far as possible. And, you know, we get paid so highly so that we can continue to do this in the capacity that we do. Like that's the way they couch it to try to make it put, put a little bit of spin on it instead of as flat out as what you suggested. My theory. Okay. Is, and this is just a high, not even a theory. It's a hypothesis. Okay. Could be completely wrong. I think a lot of these people are living their dreams through these pastors and thinking like they're responsible for it. I think this is like, look at our guy. Look how rich he is. Do you know what I mean? Kind of like, I don't know, like, kind of like when you watch people watch like their celebrities, like they, they like give their house tour 
right? But this is like this is the guy that is on our side. This is you know, and I think like a lot of people value seeing seeing somebody have a lavish life. You know, a lot of people don't get why other people celebrate that because a lot of people like, you know, some people even feel jealous. But there are this whole, whole other mentality that people are like, yes, look at his life. Oh, my God, look how glorious it is. This is our guy. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know. I guess, I guess it's similar to like some people's like having celebrities and watching them wear clothes that they could never afford in a hundred lifetimes, but they're just enjoying their guy living that life. You know what I mean? I think it might be the same thing with these prosperity pastors. Like you just think like, you know, it feels like, you know, God is on our, on this, our, our side. If our guy is this, he must be doing something right. And I'm also participating in making him this great. Like, Oh, look at, look at somebody living such an amazing life. And I also feel partly responsible for the way he's living. You just you just feel like your team is winning if your leader is living that live that kind of a life. That's my that's my guess. What do you think? I I think that's a pretty good interpretation of what's going mm -hmm. on. Andrew is saying yes, Armin. Many people want to back winners. Very right. true. I think that's a very good way to kind of um, conceptualize what's really going on here. Because hmm. hmm. it's hmm. it's often really hard for me to understand. Yeah, I mean, actually, actually, this is this has been going on forever, right? Like the whole idea, like let's say, for example, five hundred years ago, you're a peasant, and you go to your for the first time, you're witnessing the Vatican, right? And you just see that giant dome, and you see the Pope coming out with his like these clothes that you don't you didn't even know that is humanly possible to make. And you're like these people must be godly and you have like you go to this you're a pe you're a peasant and you have no money saved and all your money saved is what you have in your hand and you just like look at these really this rich institution and you give them all the saving that you have like because like you don't think like even like then you don't think like why am i doing this they seem to be rich i seem to be poor and i'm giving whatever i have to them as a donation you think like these people be glorious. I'm going to give them my money. <laughs> that's what you think. I mean, that's the whole purpose. Isn't that the whole point of making the pyramids? To be like, look what we can build. God must be on our side. We must be divine. We must be divine if we could build such giant buildings. Like, And if you're an Egyptian and you've never been to the capital, and you have, the first time you see a pyramid, I'm like, these pharaohs be gods. They cannot not be gods. I mean, look at that. Like humans cannot build stuff like this, right? Mm -hmm, That's what you mm -hmm. think, right? So I think this is like, this methodology is like as old as time. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.